So I'm doing a makeup look today for you, and it is this look right here. It's maroon, which is my school colors, on the lips, on the eyes, a little bit of eyeliner, and this is mostly drugstore, like 99%. My primer was Too Faced, so that's definitely not. It's a little bit more of an expensive brand, but everything else is super inexpensive, super easy to get, and I hope you like it. On to the video! First, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up so these don't get in the way and I get to look ridiculous for a few minutes. And I'm not gonna start with my face today. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes. And so let's do that. First, I have to prime my eyes with the Milani Eyeshadow Insurance. This one I always get at Walgreens. They have tons of coupons, so I love shopping there. Today is A&M's first home game of the season anyways, and so I'm just getting ready to go out, meet some friends, see how everybody's doing, go cheer on my Aggies, love football. Next I'm going to do Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. This is a very light color if you can't tell. You barely see on my skin, but I'm just gonna get a big old fluffy brush and brush this over. Over, It's kind of just to help uh, keep the stickiness of that primer kind of down. I do this so you don't end up with a splotch in your eyes that you weren't quite prepared for. Next, I'm going to use, this is a NYX Nude Matte Shadow and the color is NMS 04 Maybe Later. This is just a nice, easy brown. I'm going to use Makeup Geek Soft, Soft Dome Brush. It's super fluffy and it's one of my favorites right now. Um, this you have to buy online because this is Makeup Geek. This is just NYX, so you can find this anywhere, but both are really inexpensive. And so this is just a really easy brown. And just start in the outside corner and then fluff it up. This is just to make sure that everything else on top of it is super easy to blend. It's just, again, help to blend things out and see it's a very subtle difference. So let me go ahead and finish the other eye real quick. I was looking in the mirror and it looks like my two shadows are two different colors. That's because I did this look last night and I used this brush for absolutely everything in my crease. So this actually is a little bit more of the color we're aiming for. I'm gonna use another Makeup Geek shadow and, and it is called Bitten. It is such a pretty, pretty maroon. Uh, it's, woo! Oh no, everything's fine. Um, yeah, it's such a pretty, pretty color. Um, it's really, really intense, so I just take this brush again, tap it in there lightly, tap it off. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and do the same process. You start in the outer corner, kind of dig it into there a little bit, and then windshield wiper motions all the way across. You want a lot of color out here, and then not too much in your inner corner, but you want to do this just enough to where the brown and the maroon kind of meld together, and you can tell that the color is ever so slightly a reddish maroon. And you can just barely tell it's a little bit redder than this side, even more so than it was before. And so that's a really easy thing to do. This color can be traded out for any number of your darker school colors. So this can be like maroon, dark blue, purple, all of those colors would work great. And so this is just a really easy way to do it for any school out there. Let me just finish this eye and get it to look like this. I look a little bit crazy right now, but with the lid color and some eyeliner, it comes out fine. Just trust me on this one. So moving on, 
I'm going to use the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. It's a nice flat brush. Ooh, I used this last night too. Like I said, I did this look last night. And then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild color. This is another favorite. It's called Nutty. If you've never bought Wet n Wild shadows, they're like 99 cents. And they put sales on them. So, I would highly suggest investing in makeup. Not pfft. Makeup geek, yes, but Wet n Wild shadows are super easy to come by and super inexpensive. So if you don't want super expensive shadows, but you want colors and you want stuff to play with, go do this. They have palettes all the time. Anyways, moving on. Um, you just get this on your flat brush and you put that right starting in the middle of your lid. And just fill in the spots we missed. And it doesn't actually have to be perfect. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit blind because I don't have my glasses on, so I'm trying to like do this in the mirror. But yeah, it's gonna look a little bit like sudden right now, but that's when you take the same brush you tried to do where you're maroon with, which again, this is why this brush turned out purple and red in the first time I used it, because this is also my blending brush. And then you just do this and sit here for like five minutes. And windshield, windshield, windshield. I have to lean in the check and then keep doing it. And so this is what I'm aiming for. I might go back one more time with a little bit more nutty because sometimes when you blend it makes the color go away, which is fine. Doing this one more time will not hurt. Do that, repeat the process, do, 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 do. super easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this eye and then we have like one more step of shadows, maybe two, and then onto the face. Now, like I said, two more steps. I have this pointed brush. This is a Morphe brush, M222. It's got up to a point. You can use this. I like this one because it's tapered like this far, and so it makes it super easy. This is another Wet n Wild shadow. I really like their shadows, if you can't tell. Uh, this is called Panther, right? This is called Panther. It's a super, super black shadow, and I take this brush, Barely tap it in there and just tap on the outer corner. And then you, for this one, if you have it, you can just blend it using the other side. Ta da! Honestly, I usually only do the black if we have a night game and I want to go out somewhere, but if you're just going through the day and you're going to be like out all day and it's going to be from like dawn till dusk by the time you get to the game, you can skip the black shadow uh, and just do the nutty all the way to the color of your choice for the crease. And then I'm going to do a quick highlight eyeshadow brush from their black line. And so this one I just want to kind of round out my colors and it doesn't seem like I just stopped applying eyeshadow for no reason. And so I'm doing that right at where the light hits me for my eyebrows. That's pretty much done for the eyeshadows. This is how it looks right now without eyeliner or mascara or any of that. And so I like it. This is where it kind of starts looking like you're not crazy. I don't have a drugstore primer right now. I have my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure oil, oil Free. Uh, I've got oily skin, so I'm trying to combat that. But uh, if you can get a hold of Mary Kay, you have to order it from a person. Um, they had a Oil Free Timeless Ageless Primer, I think it was called that I liked for a really long time. It's silicone-y, silicone, silicone? I don't know which one it is right now. Um, but it glides on really smooth, and I think it's less expensive than this one. But mine was like four years old, and so it had to go away. But yeah, back to drugstore stuff. 
Um, this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. It's got an SPF in it, and also I am 75 natural beige. It is super easy. This is what I do to put on foundation. So let's go ahead and finish off a little bit more of my face, then I'll go back into the eyes. This is a very, very old Eco Tools blush brush, and I'm using Milani's Bro Milani's Romantic Rose Powder Blush in 01. It is awesome, and it's got a cute little rose detail. It's my favorite. It's like, if I remember right, this one's like close to $10, which is fine, because this is giant. Oh my goodness, it's so giant. But I have high cheekbones and chubby cheeks, and so I'm just going to be adorable today and use this color right on the apples of my cheek. Even though I have a chubby face, and this doesn't completely help that, I think it makes me look tiny and adorable. Very subtle. Uh, that one's really, really nice. It's That tone of blush is my favorite. I forgot a thing. I wanted to highlight today because I love highlights. This is Hard Candy's Tiki, and I'm just going to use it as a high point highlighter. So right there, and right there. You don't need much of this product. And I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush. I don't know how you use blush for this, and so I just think it works great for a highlighter. And I'm going to wear glasses today, so that doesn't help me much. But, and since I'm wearing glasses, I'm not doing like an inner corner highlight. I just don't feel like messing with that today. And I'll be out all day, so I don't see the point. Okay, last two steps. Eyeliner, I'm gonna do a wing and mascara. And so, if you don't see me until after that, it's because I can't see. <laughs> and so, that's one of the things with glasses is that eyeliner is really tricky. Meh. And so, I will see you after this. Eyeliner done. Now I get rid of the stuff under my eyes, curl my lashes, add mascara, and I'm pretty much done. And through movie magic, I'm done! I've done my eyeliner, I've done my mascara. My eyeliner was the Maybelline New York Eye Studio in like Black is Black or something like that. This one. And then my mascara is the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof. Again, black is black. Um, all that's left is a little bit of lipstick, if you choose, and then spraying it all down. And so, I have picked up another Maybelline product, which is 435 Perfect Plum. I just picked this up and it matches my shirt. Well, it matches one of the shirts I was wearing today, so. It's very, very pretty, and I'm very bad at this, and so. And because I take way too long to put on lipstick, ta-da! And then, last and final step. I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Set and Spray, uh, makeup setting spray thing lover. Because you need this if you're gonna be out all day in the sun, yelling and cheering and all that jazz. This is like the most important step of my life. And that's a completed look. Doesn't really take too long if you actually have everything set up and not talking to the camera. Um, and it's really inexpensive and really easy to do, so let me know if you actually do this look and what your school colors are if you do this um, down below. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Mwah.